think about this before I do anything. Can't afford to make any mistakes. There it is. Absolute proof that Ethan is Chief Bennett's son. That he's not a crane. Mama forbid me to tell anyone about this. She said that if anyone found this, there would be terrible consequences. But if I show Ethan the proof that he's not a crane, he'll be mine forever. Should I tell him? Teresa? Ethan. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me the truth, Teresa? Honey, why'd you let me eat that third helping? As if I could have stopped you. Great dinner, girls. <laughs> yeah, what's the catch? Oh, there's no catch, Mom. I just wanted to make a special dinner for Dad and Coach Russell for saving my life last night. If this is her way of saying thanks, how come we have to do all the work? Tell me about it. Oh, Charity doesn't know what she missed. She's out with the love of her life, Mom. I don't think she'd trade a date with Miguel for any dinner, no matter how good it was. No, I don't suppose she would. Don't feel so bad, Kay. Oh, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You still have Chad. You really think so? He was all over Whitney last night. Well, what was he going to do? Not rescue her and let her fall to her death? He had to save her, Simone, but his heart belongs to you, thanks to yours truly. Okay, I know you helped me. Helped you? Please, I practically handed him to you on a silver platter. Now it's your turn to help me get Miguel. I'll do everything I can. <sighs> if only you knew what I had to do to keep Chad away from your sister. Man, I get the case said some weird things before, but yo, to come up with a story about me knocking up some girl and then, then leaving her in the dust? What did I ever do to her? And you're sure that there's no truth in that at all? Of course, I'm sure, Whitney, that's, that's why I dragged you over here. Look, Kay don't know it yet, but she about to admit that what she said was an out-and-out -out lie. go. Agent Freeman's waiting for you. Uh, look, I don't expect to be long in Washington. You know, they just want to debrief me on your case and sign a few papers. I'll miss you every second that you're gone. I'll never understand why this couldn't wait until tomorrow. Yes, the FBI must be big on torture. You know, all I asked was one night alone with you. Stop. You're only making it worse. We'll have a lot of nights together. Hmm. Count on it. This way, you'll still respect me in the morning. Trust me. I would have respected you. <laughs> and a whole lot more. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll happen when you get back. Yeah. Look, I know you don't really need a bodyguard anymore, but I'm glad Hank's here for you. You'll be safe with him. You have enough bullets? I only need one. Make sure you have more in case you miss. We don't want her injured, we want her dead. Yeah, you've already made that crystal clear. As soon as Luis leaves with a uh, federal agent, man, it'll just be me and Sheridan. Finally. I'm as tired of all the delays as my boss is. Time for Miss Crane to say au revoir.
I'm, I'm not mad. You have every right to be upset. No, not at all. I understand why you didn't want to tell me the truth. And actually, I'm kind of touched by it. What? You lied about your headache so I could go to the game with Robert. <laughs> yes, yes, I lied. You did a, an amazingly unselfish thing for me. I'll never forget it. I can see how much the, the game meant to you. Right. And I know how much our day tonight meant to you. So thanks. And not just for being so generous, but for showing me the kind of person you are. You seemed uh, pretty caught up in whatever you were looking at in your computer before I got here. That wasn't any anything. Teresa, mm -hmm. you can only fib once to me in one night. So what were you looking at? Right. There's something you should know. Okay. I know that you and Miguel think you saw the same thing down the mine shaft, but we never did hear Tabitha's version of what happened. Yeah, okay, you said that her doll came alive and there was something about an old hag in a magic mirror. What, did Tabitha see all that too? We all did. Mm. Actually, Julian Crane claims that he looked into the mirror too. What did I tell you? It was real. What did he see? How in the hell did Julian conjure up an image of me and Ivy making love? You know, I wish I could give you a definitive answer, Sam, but I would just be guessing. Maybe he's always been suspicious and something in his subconscious just put it all together. <clears throat> Look, trust me, he didn't see anything that made any sense. Yeah, your father's right. Never heard such craziness. Mom, I don't get it. How could Kay and Miguel and even Mr. Crane all see the same visions? Was it some sort of mass hysteria or something? We you all just stop it? I was there and it was real. If you'd have been there, you would have seen it too. You know, you have to be pretty desperate to resort to making Jessica, stuff up like that. Jessica, that is enough. Now look, Kay, it's no wonder your imagination is working overtime. I mean, we all really had quite a shock last night. I got it. You know, and your mother's right. I mean, this is the first time that you insisted that you saw things that really never happened. Okay, now it's time you outgrow this need of yours to fabricate wild stories. Uh, I didn't. Everything that I told you was true. I'm not a liar. It was funny you should say that, Kay. Because that's exactly what I think you are. Well, it's a good thing the house isn't on fire. Agent Freeman. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just got a call from the agency on my car phone. They would like Ms. Crane to sign a few papers before we hit the road. Oh, of course. And if it's not too much trouble, Ms. Crane, is there any coffee? We have a long night ahead of us. Sure. We can sign the paperwork in the kitchen. Okay. okay. Excuse me, Luis. You know, I'll wait for Hank outside. You do realize what is at stake if you do not carry out your assignment? Tell your boss the job's gonna get done tonight, okay? I want this over as much as you two do. I will believe it when I see her dead with my own eyes. Suit yourself. I don't believe it. I never thought you had it in you in a million years. You and Louise have been caught up in this case for a while now, hmm? Yeah, he's been like a dog with a bone about protecting me from those perps. Perps? I know. Either I'm watching too many cop shows or spending too much time with Louise. It strikes me that you like spending time with Louise. Oh, believe me, it hasn't always been like this. Don't tell me what to do! Would you stop being so pig-headed? You can't put weight on your ankle, so you gotta stay off of it. I'll stand if I want to. Back on the couch. No! 
And I'm making this very easy. What are you doing? What <gasps> do you think I'm doing? Put me down! Yes, ma'am. Ow! Oh! Who do you think you are? Officer Lopez Fitzgerald, at your service. I thought I knew you, Hank. What are you talking about? I never dreamed you had it in you to be so conscientious. <laughs> You're as bad as I am, looking for a hitman in the bushes. What? Well, I learned from the master. Come on, man, don't give me that. You're a natural. Well, thanks. I just know that you want me to look out for Sheridan. Yeah, man, but you don't have to go overboard. The FBI wouldn't be closing the case if they thought there was a threat, so... Just... Well, if you say so. Look, so, you know, thanks for covering me this one last time, though, you know, I... I'm gonna feel a lot better down in D.C. knowing that Sheridan's not by herself. Is that that agent's car phone? Yeah, he'll never hear it inside. I better get it. What the hell are you doing with that gun? I was prepared to shoot if we had been seen together. Surely you would know by now this is not a game. No, that's no reason to take out Luis. Don't tell me you're going soft on the man who stole away your girlfriend. Nobody's going soft on anybody, okay? When I kill Sheridan tonight, it's gonna break Luis's heart. I might as well be killing him, too. The game that you went to was <laughs> televised. Oh, yeah, sure, they're all televised. No. I thought you and Robert were going to the game. Yourselves. Yeah, so did I. Ethan, I wasn't spying on you, honest. I put the game on, hoping that they would show some of the fans so I could catch a glimpse of you. Good. You ended up seeing more than you bargained for. I saw you with Gwen. Oh, Teresa. I don't expect you to believe this, but I had no idea that Shannon and Gwen were going to be there. You know, Robert and I got to our seats, and there they were. They were sitting directly behind us. Ethan, when I saw you, Gwen was sitting right next to you. Right, well, uh, Shannon and Robert wanted to sit together, and that left the seat next to me open for her. I, and I didn't want to tell Gwen that I, I, I wouldn't sit with her. But I swear, I had nothing to do with the way things turned out. Do you believe me? It just threw me to see you and Gwen laughing together. Uh, that, I mean, that was just some old uh, basketball cheer that we used to yell in school. But that's what I mean, Ethan. This, this is never going to work. What are you talking about? You're getting this upset over some uh, stupid team cheer? It's... It's not just the cheer, Ethan. It's everything you and Gwen share. You've been together for so long. You have history I could never even hope to have with you. But, Teresa, we grew up together. We have the same friends. Our families are very close. That's what I mean, Ethan. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, I can't compete with that. I just can't. What is this about, Chad? Look, it's personal, all right? Between me, Whitney, and Kay. You can tell me, Chad. Stay out of it. Well, sorry. I'm not staying out of it. Now, you can't just march into my house, call my daughter a liar without explaining yourself. Okay, you want to hear about it? Yes, I do. Well, your daughter's been spreading some nasty, low-down rumor about me and some girl I don't even know. But my daughter wouldn't do that. Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Bennett, but she did, all right? She'd been talking some real trash to Whitney about me. And I want her to admit that she made it all up right now. So what did I ever do to you, Kay? I mean, why'd you have to go out of your way to make me look bad to Whitney? Kay, what does Chad care what Whitney thinks about him? I thought I was the one he liked. Now what exactly did Kay tell Whitney you did? 
Only about the sleaziest thing a guy could do. She said, I, um, I knocked up some girl named Tiffany and then walked out on her. And that he didn't even help her after she lost the baby. Kay told me that Tiffany had to leave town because her name was completely destroyed. See, this is exactly what I was afraid of ever since Chad Harris oh. walked into our lives. Our garage apartment tonight. I'll never be in the same league as Gwen. So why don't you just leave me right now and marry her like you're supposed to? Look, Teresa, hold on a minute. Look, I don't want you ever to say that again. I love you, remember? What am I supposed to do? You and Gwen have a, a million memories together. You, you like the same things. You, you enjoy the same sports. Take it, you don't like basketball. Tonight was the first time I watched. Yeah, and thanks to the sitting assignments, it'll probably be your last. I even asked Chad to come over to the house and watch with me and Whitney so that, that he could explain the game to me. Teresa, you don't have to learn about basketball just because I like it. But I want to, Ethan. I want to learn about everything that interests you. Only when I saw you with Gwen tonight at the game, I realized that even if I did, it wouldn't matter. That Gwen would always be there first. She'd always beat me to the punch whenever it came to you. Oh, you shouldn't feel that way. Did Gwen tell you how she got the tickets to the game? Well, I asked her, and she, she claimed that they were a gift from Shannon's father, like, at the last minute. Well, that seems kind of convenient. Right? Well, I thought so, too. And I, I mean, I even accused her of setting up the whole thing. But then I realized that if anyone had, it would have been her mother, Rebecca. Gwen would never be so manipulative. Thank you for thinking the worst of me, Dr. Russell. And here I was, fool enough to believe that you and I had made some progress over the last few months. I think we owe Chad the benefit of the doubt. For all we know right now, this is just a rumor. It's more like an out-and-out -out lie. Dr. Russell, what is it about me that you hate so much? I mean, just because I didn't grow up in some middle-class fairy tale, don't automatically make me some no-account lowlife. Listen to me, son. I don't appreciate you speaking to my wife in that manner. And she is very protective when it comes to our daughters. And I respect that. But I'm telling you this whole thing is a lie. Yes, and I'm telling you that if it turns out not to be, I don't want you to ever see either one of my daughters again. And I'm glad that Kay told Whitney this, this horror story about Tiffany. Now maybe you girls will listen. I don't believe any of this. Now I know Chad better than anyone in this room. And he would never do anything like that. Thank you, Simone. Well, it looks like you're the only person in this room besides Kay who knows I didn't do it. Well, there's only one way to get to the bottom of this. Where did you hear about Chad getting this girl pregnant? Hey, man. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, I got the feeling you weren't done with me yet. Yeah, there is something else I wanted to talk to you about. Well, as long as it's not uh, anything about me wearing a uniform. <laughs> all right, I'll lay off of that for now, but you ain't heard the last of that, all right? But just take care of Sheridan for me, will you? You're only going to be gone for one night. I know. It's just that tonight was supposed to be kind of special, and, well... I don't know how to say this, but I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to her. Like what? Well, like, like, say she, she says she wants to go into town, right? You drive. She tries jaywalking across Main Street. You tell her to use a crosswalk. She tries to con you into going home for a good night's sleep. You don't listen to her, right? I get the picture. I guess I'm just beginning to. I, you know, I, I always knew I liked her, you know, that, that, that she got to me, but... 
Man, it's different now, you know? It's changed. It's... I, I think it's, it's hey, really... Hey, glad you're here. Time for Luis and me to hit the road. I'll see you later, buddy. Hey, thanks again, huh? for babysitting for me. Don't mention it. So what should we do? Grab a burger somewhere, watch a movie? A movie sounds good. Great. Now all I have to do is find one that we both want to watch. For Guffman? Or we could go with the real classic. Dial M for murder. You're back! Yeah, well, uh, I just realized that I needed another one of uh, these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agent Freeman let you come back for that? <laughs> yeah, well, that. Uh, some coffee. <laughs> I persuaded him we need a thermos full for the long night ahead. <laughs> so don't go blow my cover, right, buddy? You know me better than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Come on, I'll make the coffee. Just cool your jets. It'll get done. No, you're really not making this easy. Mm, it's too bad. <laughs> if I gotta suffer, so do you. I can't stand that I gotta be away from you for all night. Especially this night. We'll just make tomorrow night our first one together. Yeah, if I don't die from missing you by then. Oh, don't even tease about that. I want you to come home from Washington safe and sound. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll walk the whole way if I have to. You would, wouldn't you? Well, you can bet on it. Look, do you have any idea how I feel about you? I think I do. I feel the same way. I know we'll only be apart one day. Yeah, it's gonna be the longest 24 hours of my life. <sighs> By this time tomorrow, we'll, we'll both be here together just like this. Well, I hope not completely like this. Yeah, well, there's not gonna be an FBI man in the car and... Hank's not going to be in the living room, and mm -hmm. you and I will be in another room, hopefully not making coffee. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just when I thought your kisses couldn't get any sweeter. Remember that kiss when we were apart, Luis? Remember how I feel about you? Couldn't forget even if I wanted to. I don't. Sorry, tonight didn't work out for us, but we have many more times to make our own memories, Teresa. I hope so, Ethan. You know, and I mean, who says tonight has to be a total wash? You know, first dates don't always have to be fancy, do they? Oh, if I'm with you, they don't. All right. We have the sea, we have the moon, we have the stars. Mm. What's missing is the music. No, it's not. I have some great stuff downloaded on my computer. I have every song we've ever danced to right here. Well, you're kidding. Nope. You know, Teresa, I'm going to get a swelled head with all those Ethan files. Oh, don't you get conceited on me, Ethan. Just look for the one that says Ethan's favorite song. Hmm, what's that? Which one? Ethan's secret. What's that about? Oh my God. 
Julian Crane isn't Ethan's father. Chief Bennett is. Ethan is Sam Bennett's son. Open up that one. I'm gonna see what my big secret is. I ain't even met a girl named Tiffany. Look, you told me she used to hang out at the book cafe. Um, no, 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 that was, that was Kimberly Thomas, completely different. You know, I remember you two talking about some Tiffany somebody before, but I asked you who it was, can you brush me off? Now, what's going on? Why are you telling people that Chad got some girl named Tiffany pregnant? I can't tell Simone I made it up because Chad likes Whitney better than her. You guys are, are making way too big a deal out of this. Too big a deal? You, maybe it slipped your mind, but I ain't got much but my name. So I think I got a right to clear it if I think it's being dragged through the mud. Easy, Chad. Now we're gonna get to the truth. If it takes all night. Now tell me who told you about Chad and this girl. I want a name. I can't. <laughs> You and Mom always told me not to be a tattletale. This is not the same thing at all. Now, if Chad got this girl pregnant, and it turns out that she's underage, a crime has been committed. But say what? That's right. If what you say is true, Chad could be charged with statutory rape, and I'll have to arrest him. Hey, Teresa, if it's my secret, I ought to be lit in on it, right? <laughs> okay, if you're not going to open it, then I will. Oh, no, don't. Why not? Uh, it's, it's personal. But it's my secret. Ethan, it's not what it sounds like. It, it, it's just this file I used to write in before I told you that I loved you. And I, I, I named it Ethan's Secret because I wanted to believe that someday you could love me, too. Oh, thank God you hung in there. I might have never realized how much I love you. I mean, you're not sorry I told you how I felt? Teresa, I could never feel sorry about anything having to do with you. And just for the record, don't be embarrassed about having those files starting with my name. Uh, you don't think they're stupid or immature? <laughs> well, if I did, I'd have to rethink my entire file directory. And I can't tell you the number of files I have, starting with the name Teresa. You are just saying that. I think about you all the time, Teresa. Wow. So what about that dance? It's coming right up. Any rapist under our roof. Honey, calm down. Nothing has been proven yet. That's right. I just want to show Kay how important it is for her to tell us exactly what she knows. Now, I want you to get Tiffany on the phone. I want you to tell her to come over here so she can give her side of the story. I, I can't. Um... But like I told Whitney, her reputation was so trash that she had to leave town. I'm sure and she's reachable by phone. She's probably back in town by now. But the point is, Kate, I don't care where she is. I want you to find her. But she's... No buts. Now, I want you to go upstairs, go through your address book, or whatever it takes to find her, because I'm getting to the bottom of this. Now look what you've done. Me? If you're gonna blame anybody, you need to blame your little friend, Kay. No, you're the one who brought Chad in here to make him look bad in front of our parents. And I think I know why you did it. You're jealous of Chad and me, so you're trying to break us up. You've got it all wrong, Simone. No, you're the one who's got it all wrong. And Chad may go to jail for it. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. You know how you make the best coffee. <laughs> Better than your eggs benedict anyway. That's a low blow. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna miss you so much that I'm even going to miss them. All right, well, I'll make them for you as soon as I get back then. How's that? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> <sighs> so he really wants his coffee. I hate this. <laughs> oh. 
Well, you better get a move on, buddy. Federal agent man's getting restless out there. Yeah, I know. I'm going. <laughs> all right. Look, don't laugh at me, all right, buddy? I just want to make sure Stop asking Hank to look after me. He would do that anyway, silly. You couldn't be leaving me in better hands. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Well. Well, Hank, it's just us chickens now. So, you want to see something funny, or would you rather see something scary? I love Guffin, but boy, there's just something about Grace Kelly in that Hitchcock movie. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter at all. Chad, don't worry, all right? We're gonna get this straight now as soon as Keg comes down with that girl's number. It will sooner the better, Chief Bennett. Because I want everyone to know the truth. Listen, Chad is innocent until proven guilty, just like everybody else. I can't help it, TC. If he did that to some poor other girl, then he would do it to Whitney or Simone. Sam, I can't believe that Chad would walk out on some girl that he got in trouble, but why would Kay say he had? Beats me. But I have a gut feeling that Chad is a decent guy. Chad can't go to jail if he's not guilty, so... Since when? Don't you watch the news, Whitney? Innocent people go to jail all the time. What do you suppose is keeping Kay? You don't think she made this up, do you? Oh, I can't imagine why she would. But we're gonna find out. Kay, hurry up! We're all anxious to hear Tiffany's side of the story. I know you can hear me, Kay. I want you downstairs from Tiffany's phone by the time I count to ten. One. It's not fair. Two. When I am telling the truth, three, nobody believes me. Four, and when the one time five, I make up a lie, everybody thinks six, I'm a pathological liar. Seven, eight, <sighs> nine, ten. Right now, Kay. I'm coming up. God, I'm dead. Well, first to get debriefed at Quantico, and then up to DC where you can sign off on this case officially. Sounds good to me. I'm starting to think this assignment would never end. Yeah, I guess you're thinking about getting back to life as you knew it, before we feds roped in to help us out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Well, just so as you know, Luis, there should be something in this for you when you get back. Maybe even a promotion. Like, not that I wouldn't jump at the opportunity, but, uh... I don't know that I deserve it. I was just doing my job. Sharp, conscientious, and humble to boot. Like I said, I don't think I did anything special. You may want to use this time to check out that file. Make sure we didn't leave out anything significant. <laughs> wow. You guys have had your eyes on Sheridan longer than I realized. Not as long as you have, from what I've seen.
let me ask you something. If you had known we'd had Miss Crane under surveillance for as long as we did, would that have kept you from trying to protect her? No. I wouldn't give up one moment we ever spent together. Well, I vote for Grace Kelly. What are you doing, Hank? Put that thing away. I'm sorry, Sheridan. I can't do that. Why? <laughs>